Yo, what is going on, guys? Dylan Merway here, and welcome back to NASCAR Away, ladies and gentlemen, for race eight of thirty-six. It's going to be a two, one of um, two episodes, one of um, select episodes where I will upload two races in one day. This will be race one of the doubleheader up episode on a Friday. Hope you guys are enjoying your Friday afternoon. In March, let's jump to Phoenix. Currently, I have jumped to 8th in points, but I am 125 back in Kyle Busch. Let's go racing. This is the first right, race of 2007. And um, this was, for many Jeff Gordon fans like me, this was a historic night. Jeff Gordon got his first win at Va the Valley of the Sun in Phoenix. In Phoenix, being out Tony Stewart on a late debris caution. And tying the late great Dale Earnhardt at 76 wins. We're going to run a few practice laps right now. This is the old Phoenix layout, by the way, so there is no dog leg that you can cut on the back stretch. Anyway, if you do what, you, what drivers do at the new Phoenix, cut the grass. Here, I'm going to demonstrate next to the, I'm going to demonstrate on one of my four laps I run. Here you go. Basically, if you cut the grass, and do what the newer drivers do, especially the new guys coming on. The guys above and below you, since you likely won't have room to do moves like that, you're probably going to wreck. That and with the low downforce of these, the split of these cars, cut the grass, you're basically a lawnmower. You're basically a lawnmower cutting grass. This is the, uh, before this track got repainted in 2011 and reconfigured, doing away with the grass on the back stretch and opening up actually quite a few passing lanes. Not a lot of people thought this could be a multi year racetrack. A lot of guys thought if you're on the bottom, you're good, you're, uh, good all the way around. Well, you're wrong. Also, a lot of people prefer to run towards the bottom grooves or just the bottom lane in general. Very rarely do you see people running towards the, running this track like it's a multi race racetrack. You see Kevin Harvick briefly took the quickest time award here, but we took it right back. This is one of Kevin Harvick's favorite racetracks in the NASCAR next Hell Cup Series, well now Monster Energy Cup Series. This is one of Harvard's favorite tracks, considering the past few years, well, ever since 2006, he's basically been the king of Phoenix. Except for 2007 when Gordon and Johnson basically had a choke on the season. 2008 was basically the Jimmy Johnson show. 2009 was the Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon show. 2010, we actually had decent winners at the track, like Newman and Edwards. In 2011, Gordon and Kane won. And then, 20, basically ever since 2012, Kevin Harvick's basically been the king of Phoenix. Practice is done. Now, to qualify. In fact, 2016, we actually had a photo finish at this track. Yeah, a photo finish. In a track that, oh, yay, we're going around. Well, 
We're going around here. Also, do not race out of the pits at Phoenix. You will spin around. This is back when Phoenix had a night race for every year until 2010. Right in 2015, we had a night race at Phoenix, but it was um, it was a delayed race. It wasn't like you know, it was scheduled to run at night. It was a daytime day race. I remember from that race. I had school the next day, so having the rain to Sunday night really pissed me off. But we had Direct TV and we got NBCSN, so we basically were able to watch the race. And it was boring. With a capital D. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty boring. And all the hype they had for the night race, it was just boring. Junior one, so that's cool. So Matt Kenton and Brian Vickers are on the front row. Kurt Busch and Tony Stewart are in row two. Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick, King of Phoenix, are in row three. Martin Truex Jr. and Mark Martin are in row four. And Jeff Gordon and Joe Nemechek round out your top ten. Bobby Labonte and Jeff Green make row six. Juan Pablo Montoya and Sterling Marlin will be in row seven. Clint Boyer and Kyle Busch are in row 8. J.J. Yaley and Jeff Burton are in row 9. A.J. Allmendinger and Casey Mears are in the top 10. Row 11 finds Casey Kane and Robbie Gordon. Row 12 finds Elliot Sadler and Ricky Rudd. Row 13 finds Tony Raines and Greg Biffle. Row 14 finds Scott Riggs and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row 15 finds Jamie McMurray and David Rudiman. Row 16 finds David Strebby and Mark, Mike Wallace. Row 17 finds David Gillen and Reed Sorensen. Row 18 finds Dave Blaney and Ryan Newman. Row 19 finds Kyle Petty and Denny Hamlin, who got a crappy qualifying run this week. David Reagan and Ken Schrader make up row 20. Dale Jarrett and Paul Menard are in row 21. And there's no sucky time this week. Everybody qualified within a reasonable time frame in Phoenix. And Michael Walter will line up, ran out, to the rear of the field. Pace car is off. Me and Brian Vickers lead the field down as we're green in Phoenix. Out of turn four, we do have a narrow lead over the two of Kurt Busch, but we're going to leave the first lap by a little over a half a second. Down the back stretch. In the turn three, here comes Kurt Busch trying to go to the outside. We got covered the spot. Kurt Busch is using the outside lane to his advantage. He's going to get to our bumper, go to the inside. He's pushing us briefly. We're going to give him the spot. Jimmy Johnson's going to try to follow. Oh, my God. We saved it. However, we lost nine spots. Kurt Busch, the new leader at Phoenix. Jimmy Johnson second, Vickers third, Tony Stewart fourth, and Shrek Jr. in fifth. Looks like Jeff Gordon's going to claim sixth on Kevin Harvick. Never mind, they're still dueling for sixth. Harvick is in seventh. Mark Martin eighth. Well, Mark Martin's now ninth. We drove it in deep that time. Using the boy Gordon as, um, using Kevin Hart because it's kind of a pick. Mark Martin's pushing us toward turn one again.
Oh, more contact. Man. Mark Martin. He's aggressive in this been aggressive in this let's play. He wrecked Gordon last race a couple races ago at Martinsville. And wow. <laughs> aggression aggressive much? We're going to contact with the 83 Vickers. Since arrived to drive on the outside of him, but we have to give up the spot. Johnson leads. Stewart and Kurt battle for second. Jeff Gordon has made his way to fourth. Here comes Kurt Busch in the two. There's Mark Martin with that heavy front end damage. Man, hard. Mark Martin's been quite aggressive tonight. And three wide briefly for the top spot. Kurt Busch will take the lead back to the 48. We're trying to fight Clint Boyer in the 0075. Man, we're flying through these corners. Kurt to the lead. Stewart in second. This totally doesn't foreshadow anything. You know, anything that would end up in these two having a in the top two right now getting in a fight. Nearly getting into a fight in the first practice in 2008. This totally doesn't foreshadow anything like that at all. Tony Stewart on the bumper, but Kurt Bush is pulling up, pulling away in bit by bit. Martin drove it in deep. And around we go, turn one. Really? Fuck you, Mark Martin. Shady track design. Kurt Busch and Cody Stewart will bring the field down. And Kevin Harvick and Mark Martin with heavy damage. Holy cow. Holy cow, Mark Martin, buddy. You have heavy, quite a bit of damage right there. Four to go at Phoenix. Tony Stewart gets the lead. Contact up front. Or further up. Three wide briefly, but here we go. I'm going to try to go to the inside of room in for position. Up to 32nd. We need a caution, like right now. You know, if the field would all just wreck in front of me, that would be great. Two to go. Winning may be pretty unlikely at this point. Kyle Bush in the five to the lead. A shot to go back to back is basically out of the question right now. Wow, there's several cars with damage up ahead. White flag at Phoenix. Robbie Gordon in the seven is another example. Come on. Down the back stretch for the final time. We're currently struggling and having a crappy race. Can we get to Burton? No, we do not. Kyle Busch wins at Phoenix. While we finish the Circle Jerk 521st. This is a circle jerk. Circle Jerk. <laughs> the cars are glitching again. Kyle Busch, Tony Stewart, Casey Kane, Jeff Gordon, 
Jimmy Johnson, Elliot Sadler, Juan Paula Montoya, Clint Boyer, JJ Daly, and Kurt Busch are your top 10. And they bunch up big time coming on the pit road. How do you go from open wheel racetrack to occasionally good NASCAR race? Your Phoenix International Raceway. That's what. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of nervous right now. I'm currently 10th in points, but I want to get to the top. Look at the next race. If you've seen Daytona, if you remember all the way back to that race, which I'm pretty sure most of you do, you know I sucked. Talladega is probably going to be even worse. Tune in today at 7 p.m. Eastern for the Aaron's 499. Race 9 to 36. Um, hope you guys have a good afternoon and tune in later tonight for Talladega.